On December 7th, a session of the NATO-Ukraine Commission took place in Brussels, Belgium. The NATO-Ukraine Commission is the decision-making body responsible for developing the NATO-Ukraine relationship. On behalf of the Alliance, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg reaffirmed NATO's commitment to Ukraine as Ukraine attempts to implement difficult reforms and fight off Russian aggression. Stoltenberg stated that NATO already cooperates with or helps Ukraine in more than 40 key areas, such as counterterrorism, securing of airspace and cyber defense. The Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Pavlo Klimkin, reported that the Ukrainian armed forces have already adopted and implemented 120 NATO standards in their push toward modernization. In Klimkin's view, as a result of such efforts, Ukraine should become part of NATO's eastern wing in the future. According to Klimkin, the Ukrainian military can be particularly useful to its Western allies because of its experience dealing with the hybrid war instigated and propagated by Russia in Ukraine. Importantly, Jens Stoltenberg underscored that Russia's annexation of the Crimea and its destabilization of the situation in eastern Ukraine are unacceptable to the international community. And thus, he stated that economic sanctions against Russia should not be lifted until Russia backs off from its aggressive policies. On December 8th, at a press conference in KU, the first deputy head of the National Police of Ukraine, Vadim Troyan, reported that during the course of an unrelated investigation, police discovered a secret apartment believed to have been used by Mykola Azarov the former Prime Minister of Ukraine under President Viktor Yanukovych. Like Yanukovych, Azarov fled to Russia after the Revolution of Dignity and was on Interpol's wanted list for some time after 2014. Troyan reported that valuable property and a large cache of weapons were found in the apartment, along with documents in the name of Azarov and indicators that the property in the apartment is Azarov's. The value of the property, which includes paintings by prominent 19th century painters Ilya Repin and Vasily Trupinin, and an 18th century Bible, has been estimated at 5 million US dollars. Azarov's lawyer seemed to indicate that only some of the property may belong to Azarov and valued it at $20,000. The property will still be evaluated by experts for authenticity and value. Also found inside the apartment was a special certificate from Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, issued during the time of the Revolution of Dignity, which expresses thanks from the people of Russia for good work on the part of the Ukrainian government. Ukrainian authorities view this as additional proof that the government of Viktor Yanukovych and Mykola Azarov was collaborating with the government of Russia against the interests of the people of Ukraine. For his part, Azarov, according to his lawyer, is upset by the loss of his property. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden, the part of the Stockholm Nobel International Programme.